Before I begin, I'd like to say that vlogging has been an excellent exercise in speaking concisely and also a painful reminder that I'm no good at it. So if you've ever been a victim of my public speaking, I truly and sincerely apologize to you. Anyways, I digress. Moving on. So, I've lived in the South my whole life, and more specifically, I've lived in Mississippi for most of my life. I grew up in, in a town called Brandon, which is near our capital city of Jackson. And just like here in South Mississippi, people in Jackson talk really Southern. And I don't know if I just wasn't paying attention growing up, or if I'm just noticing it more now, but it seems that since I've moved down here to Marion County, near a town called Columbia, that I have heard a great number of what I like to call Southern-isms. Before I begin, if you are one of the people who have said these things to me, please know that I am not making fun of you. It's quite the contrary. If I kept the journal, I'd be writing this stuff down because it is gold. I would be actively trying to find a way to like work this stuff into my vocabulary. Matter of fact, I can already use the word reckon like a pro. Anyways, I reckon it's time to get this show on the road. When I first started going to my church, we were riding in the church van and uh, as is customary around here, we were, uh, me and another guy were telling each other where we live. And he tried to describe where he lives in relation to where I live. And he said, it's a fur piece out yonder to my place from yours. And I said, a what? And so the people had to explain to me that a fur piece is a great distance. So in other words, he lives a really long way away from me. Um, so I was standing in the choir loft at church, bantering and carrying on. and smack talking as we often do in choir and a young man was standing next to me and I said something to him that caused him to in turn tell me boy I'm gonna beat you like a rented mule okay for starters where do you rent mules is there a place where you could rent animals I'd love to know where this place is sounds awesome second if you beat the rented mule wouldn't that like violate the rental agreement or at least cause you to not get your deposit back anyways I had to turn to his dad who was standing next to him and I said dude your son just told me he was going to beat me like a rented mule. What does that even mean? And so he explained it to me. He said, basically, that means since the mule isn't yours, you know, you don't feel obligated to take care of it. So I guess, I don't know, maybe if you bought like the like the mule rental insurance, sort of like on a rental car, maybe, maybe you could get away with that. It'd be like what Johnny Knoxville and his boys did on that movie where they set the car on fire. I don't know. Another time, I was uh, at church, I was getting ready to cook breakfast with the fellow that I mentioned earlier who lives a fur piece from me, and if he's watching, he probably already knows who I'm talking about. What's up, Chad? He was trying to get the, the light to the vent hood in the fellowship hall to turn on, and, and it wouldn't. And I said, dude, what's the matter with it? He said, you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. And I said, well, you reckon what's wrong with it? He said, I don't know. I reckon it's got a hanklin. A what? A hanklin. Said, okay, you gotta spell that for me. He said, H A N K L I N. Hanklin. Okay. In the context, I think maybe it means that it's haunted or has a haunting or something. I don't know. I like it. I gotta find a way to work that one in. That was good. Another time, a friend of mine at church came up to me. He had seen my son earlier. Apparently, my son was happy that day. And he said, I saw your son earlier. He was smiling like a possum eating briars. Wait, what? Why would an animal be eating briars? Wouldn't that be painful? Because briars are all prickly, right? If they were eating briars, why would they be smiling about it? But I'll, I'll move on to some pronunciations, some interesting ones I've heard. A really good friend of mine at work was telling me about some tractor implements that he bought over the weekend. And he said he bought a couple of pieces of what he called section car. I'm like, section car? I, I didn't, didn't ask him. Anyways. So later, he, I was riding with him and another guy at lunch, and they got to talking about the section horror again. I said, dude, hold up, you gotta spell that for me. He said, section, H-A-R-R-O-W, section horror. I'm like, section haro? They got a kick out of that. Who's the weird one here? Same two guys were telling me about a community that's near a place where we ride bikes that's spelled M-E-L-B-A, Melby. So yeah, I, I find all this stuff very interesting. It's been a blast living here. I know I've heard a number of other ones, but like I said, I couldn't remember any of them right now. Once again, if you're one of the people who have said these things to me, I am not making fun of you. This stuff is great. I, I don't know how I've managed to live here my whole life and not hear these awesome things. As always, if you like the video, please click like. Or is it on this side? Wherever it is, down below. While you're at it, 
subscribe to my channel. There should be more to come. Thanks.